We've had a great start to life at Inter. Can we keep it going? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so a slight change of plan on match number one, the game away to Roma. Uh, when I've gone to uh, edit the uh, the highlights of this one, I've actually not saved the uh, the video correctly, so it isn't there. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is just show you the uh, the goals from this one. As you can see, it resulted in a 2-0 away win for uh, Inter, and our team for this one was Lafont in goal, Dest, Bongiorno, Bamadili, and... Uh, Scrini are the back four, shot hard at the base of midfield with Sambi Lukonga and Barella ahead of him, Nkunku and Colombo on the wings, and Raspadori up front. So I'm just going to show you the goals from this one, and we'll go straight into that now. Okay, so here's the, uh, the first goal. Barella plays it through. And Colombo slips it under the goalkeeper for a lovely finish in the back of the net. And the second goal, Bongiorno to Schottard. Vapinski and Kunku pulls it back. And Raspadori puts it in the back of the net for a 2-0 win. And uh, as you can see, we... Uh, Deserved the uh, the victory in the end. Uh, it was tight for a long time, but in the end, deserving winners. And uh, I'll see you in a moment for the second match of the episode, which hopefully will save correctly. See you in a moment. Okay, well the uh, transfer window has closed ahead of the uh, Torino match, so it seems only right that before we go into that we uh, round up the business that we've done. As you can see we've let 11 players leave the club, so the players leaving are uh, Passarelli uh, for 72,000, Eugenio Napoli for 150,000, Leo Labada for 13.5 million. Uh, David Ritter goes out on loan. Uh, Sinchek, Gordon Sinchek leaves on a free transfer. Filippo uh, Faraolo uh, leaves for £700,000. Dario Caldera leaves on loan. Uh, Mar Emanuele Martini leaves on loan as does Ricardo Cardillo and finally Pierluigi uh, Franceschetti leaves for £83,000 potentially rising to £120,000 and uh, finally on to the uh, one player that we've actually brought in during the uh, transfer window which is Manuel Gasparini and we've paid £32 million for him from uh, Fiorentina and let's have a look at him he's a 28 year old goalkeeper three star current ability and potential and uh, he has already made his debut for the club uh, he's played one match so far in January and uh, I will show you uh, more of him because he's going to start the uh, the upcoming match but uh, he is the long-term replacement in the, uh, the first team squad for Alban Lafont, who is uh, 32 years of age now and therefore uh, not a long-term option. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, get straight into the uh, match and I'll show you the team for it in just a moment. Okay, time now for the second match of today's episode as we make the uh, trip to face Torino. And it's uh, the team for this one is Gasparini in goal, back four of Martinez, Bongiorno, Oma Bamadili and Skriniar, Shotard at the base of midfield, Sambi Lukonga and Barella ahead of him, Doku on the left, Colombo on the right, Raspadori up front. Let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. 
Okay, so the assistant manager is recommending I want you to pick up where you left off last time out. Uh, yeah, I think that's entirely fair. We'll outstretch the arms, keep it reasonably, uh, reasonably friendly. And that's uh, motivated a few of them. Um, Agustin Martinez is aggressive for some reason. So we'll keep an eye on him. And Sambi Lakonga is unsure. So we'll keep an eye on him as well. Let's go into the tunnel and do a quick tunnel interview. As the recent fixture has been particularly challenging. Um, I've tried to embrace it. These are the sort of matches we live for. Um, how's the mood in the camp right now? Um, they're a confident bunch. They believe in themselves and that's always really nice. Uh, Inter are unbeaten in six matches against Torino. Um, yeah, there's a psychological aspect to that. Okay, let's get uh, straight into the uh, the match, kick things off, and see if we can go and get another win. And let's wait for the uh, initial signs as to how the match is going before we uh, make any changes or interventions at all. Uh, we've had the uh, the first shot and um, they've committed the first foul so so far we appear to have a marginal advantage but uh, it's uh, not it's not exactly uh, convincing so far let's um, encourage because we're away I don't want to demand more yet uh, as things stand, if we are, if we were to get a win, we would actually go into the Europa League spots. Uh, right, Dahlberg with the ball forward. Omar Bamadili wins it, and it's Barella to Skriniar. Omar Bamadili to Shotard into Lekonga, Sambi Lekonga. Raspadori plays it to the right wing and Colombo. He pulls it back for Barella. Barella bursts forward, plays it back to Skriniar. Skriniar beats his man and then gives the ball away. But we've won it back on halfway. Sambi Lekonga to Barella. Shot out to the left wing this time. Doku. Raspadori with the shot. And the follow up from Doku is over the top. And we are kind of well on top now but don't have anything to show for it so let's um, encourage again I think that worked last time work ball into box is a good idea so we'll do that and uh, hopefully we can uh, take advantage of the position we're in uh, Doku's free kick and the header is just over the, uh, the top so another chance goes begging Surely if we get one more, we will take the lead. One more good opportunity before half time. Uh, it's played through, but Dahlberg is alive to it. And he's launched it forward, but Bongiorno is there to win the header. Uh, Colombo plays it forward. Raspadori is in. He's rounded the keeper. And Giacomo Raspadori this time does make it. Torino nil. Inter Milan 1 and we will watch the replay on this one it's an excellent goal it's a Barella to Colombo Colombo's ball over the top Raspadori takes a touch rounds the keeper who drops to his knees and Raspadori is left with a simple task to roll it into the empty net and Torino kick off and have possession Saliba to Radu on the right hand side Doku's won it off Radu though down our left hand side Doku infield to Sambi Lekonga who bursts into the area and I think he's been fouled so need to uh, find out who's on penalties I want it to be Raspadori so we're waiting for the verdict the penalty is given and is it going to be Raspadori on it it's not it's Barella he has rolled it past the keeper into the net it's 3-0-0 into Milan 2 I don't think we'll see a replay of the penalty don't need to do that so we'll skip that one 
uh, move straight on. We deservedly lead 2 0. XG is above 2. I know one of them's a penalty, but even so. Uh, we're now in the uh, the top six and into a Europa League spot as it stands. And we've even got a game in hand on some of the teams above us now. Uh, things are going well. I know you're capable of even better. No subs at half time. We'll go straight into the second half. And we'll await the uh, first signs of... The progress in the second half to see whether we need to make changes uh, Sambi Lukonga with a lovely effort on target but tipped wide by the keeper the right wing corner from Doku is an outswinger the header is on target but straight at Dalberg and that highlight comes to an end difficult to say who the first sub should be they're all tiring very slightly but nobody seriously yet and everybody's playing really, really well. Gasparini less so, but probably because he's had less to do. Um, I think the first substitutions are going to be the wingers. Colombo for uh, Nkunku. And Doku for... Luis Diaz and then the final sub can wait uh, played through Raspadori won't get there it's collected easily by Dalberg and he launches it forward uh, Shotard is there collects it feeds Barella who gives the ball away and uh, Torino can come forward Mandragora plays it through and with able to block it Martinez makes a block and then puts it into touch and the final substitution I think is likely to be Sambi Laconga on about 75 minutes probably so we will await the uh, await the opportunity to do that uh, Barella plays it through for Nkunku who has the shot just wide and I'm still uh, undecided whether it will be Sambi Lukonga I think it probably will um, we are at the 75 minute mark and actually I think uh, Barella is probably more important to take off so we'll bring on Vapinski. In fact, no, we won't. We'll bring on Rodri. Uh, so Rodri comes on with about 10 minutes to go. And it's uh, Nkunku's free kick. On Mabamadili with the back post header. Absolute bullet of a header for 3-0 to uh, Inter. Don't need to see this one. We've uh, won the game comfortably. And only five minutes remaining. We're going to see this one out for a comfortable away win. It might be that there's one final chance. Although we managed to get this one clear. And Giacomo has cleared it. Luis Diaz. And the highlight comes to an end. We're into stoppage time. There's three added minutes signalled. And that is all but up now. And indeed, the referee blows the full-time whistle. It ends Torino 0, Inter Milan 3. I'll see you in a moment for the league table and to tell you what's coming up on the next episode. Okay, so the league table then has us in sixth position in Syria with uh, 38 points from 21 matches played. We've won 11 drawn five and lost just the five matches so far this season so let's have a look then at when we are going to come back for the next episode and I think I will come back I'll show you um, Udinese at home 
and the first leg of the Europa League second knockout round. Uh, obviously, we don't yet know who that's going to be against, so uh, we will uh, reveal that on the next episode. And uh, that's uh, the end of this one. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.